So what Schiefer is doing here is foam rolling. This will prime the muscles for exercise by increasing the blood flow to the muscles. This is the closest thing to giving yourself a massage as you can get. This will roll out any tightness which you may have and it can be used on several muscles. So in this video you can see Schiefer rolling her IT bands, her quad muscles, her glutes and there's plenty more she did off camera so you know it is useful also for rolling the, the back muscles. She first started off her leg workout with some back squats so after a couple of warm-up sets this is her first working set now showing. Um, squats are a great movement, great compound movement, multi-joint and multi-muscle so you know you would get more bang for your buck in an exercise like a squat than you would in a, an isolation exercise where you may only be working one muscle on its own so in my opinion every good program should include some form of squats in it and in this particular video now Schiefer has 35 kilos so for her it's a pretty good weight if we were to go a little bit heavier it could compromise form so from the squats we went into some hamstring curls so for this we used a board and um, so as she drags the board in she lifts her hips and she's really isolating her hamstrings and to a smaller extent she's also getting the calf muscles as well next up we can see she for performing some dumbbell split squats so this is a great exercise for targeting quad muscles and glute muscles so her depth and her speed are quite important in this exercise and it's really going to test her balance so we're trying to come down quite slow and then uh, push up in a more explosive manner so with this exercise we supersetted it with some glute ham raises so in this picture you can see Shifra holding a 10 kilo weight so she's straightening out her legs as she lowers herself down and as she rises up she's going to bend her knees as much as she can and that's really going to target the hamstrings so if she was to keep her knees quite straight as she would come up that would target the back muscles a bit more but in this particular video we're trying to target the hamstring muscles Schiefer then moved on to doing some lunges with a barbell so here she's concentrating, she's lowering herself down nice and slow and then using all the muscles in her legs to push up in an explosive manner as well. So with these exercises it can be done with dumbbells and in many cases Schiefer would have done it with dumbbells but in this particular occasion she's using a barbell. So with this exercise what we did was eight repetitions on each leg and on this occasion we supersetted it with some hanging knee raises so with the hanging knee raises it's a great exercise for hitting the core um, so you need a strong core to keep yourself steady from and stopping yourself swinging okay so in this occasion Schiefer's keeping the, her torso nice and steady bringing the knees up as high as she can this is going to work all the major muscles of the abs. So next up we superset another leg exercise with another core exercise. So here you can see Schiefer performing some jump squats. So there's no weight involved. It's just going to be a good finisher for the legs, a plyometric movement. So this is really going to tire the legs out. Um, so with this uh, exercise we went for three sets of 20 repetitions uh, from then we moved on to some v-sit crunches so with the, this exercise the speed is quite important so we came down slow ball over the head and then straighten out the feet as we come back down okay so on this occasion down slow up meet in the middle and then down slow again so the slower you can keep this movement the better so on this occasion what Schiefer was doing was 3 sets of 12, nice and slow and really feeling the core muscles. So with this, this is where we finished off before we went on to our last bit of cardio to finish off. 
we use the assault bike to finish so what Schieffer did here was she went at maximum effort for three sets of 10 calories so she kept pushing as fast as she can using the legs and the arms until she reached 10 calories then she took a little break and then she repeated this two times so this didn't take very long at all but it's just enough to get the heart rate up and it's a good little finishing exercise Hey guys, today I just wanted to give you a quick update on our Time to Change competition winner Alan Malloy and his progress. So Alan started with us uh, six weeks ago and so far it's been going absolutely fantastic. Alan came in with a great attitude and from day one he's just doing the business. So when we started with Alan, we started him off on a three day split. Um, so one day he was doing back and biceps, another day he was doing chest, shoulders and triceps and then his last day he was doing legs and core. So this is for the first four weeks, so absolutely no cardio at all in the first four weeks. Um, we've since had week five and now week six where we have started to introduce a little bit of cardio as planned and so far things are going absolutely to plan. So Alan's body fat um, has already come down 3% so we're delighted with that. Um, he's lost 5 inches from around his midriff and on the scales he's already dropped 17 pounds so you know at the moment his nutrition is absolutely on point and you know, we couldn't ask for any more dedication from him. So, We've got six weeks to go um, and we're absolutely, you know, really excited to see what sort of progress Alan can make in those remaining weeks. So stay tuned. We hope to post some more updates on social media, Facebook, Instagram. So uh, keep an eye out. Hey guys, just a quick video uh, just to say Thanks to everybody, every client who's walked in at, into our door, past and present, for all your fantastic support. Uh, the fitness tailor is now two years old. Um, we've had an absolute ball. It doesn't even feel like a job, to be honest. It's been an absolute pleasure to help everybody. Um, we can't wait till next year. Uh, on to bigger and better things. Thanks, guys.